Good morning, my friends. So today we are talking about uh, Jesus' crucifixion. And whenever we talk about that, it always makes us a little bit sad, but it also makes us glad because we understand what Jesus' purpose was in being crucified for our sins, for being the final sacrifice. So I want to encourage you to watch the video. Stick around to the end because I have a few things to share with you. And I hope this blesses you and your family. Hey guys, it's Polly. In Luke 22 and John 19, we learn that Jesus was crucified. While that was very sad to the apostles because they forgot that Jesus had predicted that uh, this would happen. Mm -hmm. We all understand that Jesus was crucified as the final sacrifice for our sins. And he did that for us to bring forgiveness of sins and eternal life. Yeah, but when I hear about Jesus being crucified, it still makes me kind of sad. Wee! 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 Yes, it is sad, but it still makes us glad. We are sad because Jesus was crucified, but it makes us glad because we know that Jesus had a purpose in allowing himself to be crucified for us. And, spoiler alert, he would raise three days later. So, I was pondering, has anyone else ever had anything that uh, was sad, but it made them glad? Uh, let's check it out. One time, I was out in the woods, and uh, I found some oh, baby birds. Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. They didn't have a mama, so I raised them, and I even tried to teach them how to fly. Okay, little birds, you just gotta, you know, flap your wings uh, like this. Uh, you just gotta flap them. Yeah, and then you'll fly. Uh, uh, uh. Tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, I think Barry fell out of a tree. Come on, Barry, uh, it's time to get up. Oh, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm okay. I just tried to teach the birds to fly. Uh, hmm, maybe that's not such a good idea. <laughs> oh, but they had to leave because they grew up and had to go have families of their own. Even though I was sad, it made me glad because they were healthy and they could fly on their own all by themselves. <laughs> I always had a hard time trying to teach him how to fly. <laughs> and now it's time for Deep Thoughts with Blub Blub. Oh yes, in John 15 verse 13, Jesus said, Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. He said this just a few hours before his trial and his crucifixion. Jesus was making it clear that he would lay down his life for us. You see, it makes me sad, but then it also makes me glad because Jesus' sacrifice is for us, and by it, we are saved. Mm -hmm. If you believe that, oh, you're going to be really, really blessed. Guaranteed. I'm glad Barry was able to raise those baby birds. But, uh, birds kind of freak me out, though. <laughs> wow. I think they were kind of grumpy. I think they needed to fly south for the winter. <laughs> Oops, excuse me, Jesus loves you. Bye. Well, in Luke uh, 23, verse 34, it said, says, And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. When we read about this, we understand that Jesus cared deeply for 
us. And even while he was being crucified, his thoughts were, were about us because he loved us. Not just a mere man being crucified, but our savior, the final sacrifice for our sins. And by that sacrifice, he offers us eternal life. He offers us forgiveness freely, freely for us. Yeah. And that's why in this uh, uh, puppet script, we talked about how it makes us sad that he was crucified, but it makes us glad because we know the purpose of what he did for us was to bring us eternal life. And to bridge that gap that sin has, has uh, that gulf of sin that it has created between us and God the Father. He bridged the gap by being the final sacrifice because he loves us. We always have to remember when we, as we near Resurrection Sunday that it's all about Jesus and celebrating his victorious sacrifice and resurrection from the dead for us. Now, as always, we have at the end of this video, a coloring sheet that you can uh, pause uh, the video and print out. And I have some notes and those are on the, uh, all the prophecies concerning Jesus' crucifixion and his resurrection. And you can print those out as well, or you can go to the Calvary Chapel Newcastle app and you might be watching this video on the app. But if you go to the app, then you look down at where it says platypus ponderings. Go ahead and tap on the platypus ponderings icon and you'll see a bunch of different videos. On the videos, you'll see a place where it says notes. You can go and download any notes that I may have spoke of and you can download those uh, really easily to, and print them out. And it's something that you and your family can go go over together. So pray this blesses you as always. And before we leave, let's go to the Lord. Jesus, we just want to commit this time to you. Pray that you'd be with us uh, during this season. And Lord, help our thoughts to be on you above everything else. In your name, Jesus. Amen. God bless you all.